Most of us could beat a kid in a fight, even though you shouldn't ever fight one, because they're small, weak, and frail, but some kids… Oh yeah! Some are tougher than most. Some are so tough they might actually hold their own against a grown-up in a brawl. Some are so tough they're guaranteed to. These are the strongest kids in the world that took it too far. Number 15. Ryusei Amai We are starting things off with a Japanese kid named Ryusei Amai. This 10-year-old has taken the internet by storm, and his fame is down to his love of the legendary martial artist Bruce Lee. But Ryusei is not content with merely watching all of Lee's movies. He's been learning to fight in a martial arts style just like his idol. One look at Ryusei's insane ripped torso should be enough to tell you that this kid is one you do not want to mess with. In fact, he could probably kick your ass. The mini Bruce Lee has been watching martial arts movies with his parents since the age of one, while most kids would be watching Frozen on repeat. His parents quickly recognized their son's talent when he was able to imitate Bruce Lee's skills with nunchucks just from watching the movies. Now enrolled in classes, Ryusei has gained a huge following on social media, showing off his speedy punches and powerful roundhouse kicks. He even puts himself through a grueling training regime, which includes performing one-handed push-ups on his knuckles. His parents say that as long as he's enjoying himself, there's no reason for him to stop. But would they even dare try? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Yang Jinglong Heading across the Sea of Japan to China now, where we are taking a look at an incredible seven-year-old named Yang Jinglong. This young Chinese boy has incredible strength and has clearly been eating plenty of cans of spinach. At just seven, he is able to pull cars along, carry his own father, and lift huge grain sacks and rest them on his shoulders. The youngster already weighs a massive 110 pounds, and the tiny strongman has become a celebrity in his native land and beyond, as people tune into his channel to see his amazing feats of strength. His truck pulling feat involved tying a rope around himself and then hauling a two-ton truck along a street, and lifting his father, who weighs 200 pounds, almost double his weight. The grain bags he lifts for strength weigh almost 100 pounds, and he has even picked up a 220-pound bag of cement and lifted it onto his shoulders. This weightlifting skill surely will lead to a future as one of the world's most successful strongmen. Number 13. Kyle Kane some people have called 12-year-old Kyle Kane the world's strongest boy. Not yet even a teenager, Kyle can already lift more than twice his own weight, standing at 5'7 and weighing 140 pounds. The mighty Kyle managed to lift an enormous 308-pound weight at a charity event, to the total amazement of everyone who was there and also everyone watching along online. His single clean lift destroyed the previous record, which was held by 12-year-old Kirby Winston of the United States, who managed only 236 pounds. Kyle began weight training at the age of 10, and he now trains four times a week at the gym, and he is able to do leg pushes up to 600 pounds. The boy from Coventry, UK, said, I do this because I love it. It feels sensational to have broken a world record, but this is just the beginning. I want to keep breaking records. He has some good genes to help him live out his dream of becoming a strong man, as his dad John is a former bodybuilder. When Kyle was asked about his ambition for the future, he said, Hopefully one day I can train in the Olympics or compete in the world's strongest man. Number 12. Maria Kulova from the world's strongest boy to the world's strongest girl. This is Varya Kulova, 
of the Ukraine, and she was listed twice in the Guinness Book of Records back in 2004 for lifting a 770-pound weight at the age of 12, when she herself only weighed 88 pounds. She also managed to lift a 220-pound barbell at the age of just three, meaning her claim to be the strongest girl in the world was rock solid. Since then, she moved to the USA, where she adopted the name Kingsley Hopper and went on to become a equally successful strong woman, continuing to set records in weightlifting. And she has continued in her quest to win a gold medal at the Olympic Games. At just one year old, she was able to perform handstands, and by three, she was able to do flips. Her family were in the circus, and Varya was soon performing in circus weightlifting shows, even at the age of just four. By five, she was lifting adult weights in powerlifting. Amazingly, the Akulova family have long been famous for their strength. Even being favorites in the court of Catherine II of Russia and serving in the Russo-Turkish War, where Varya's ancestors boosted morale among Russian troops with feats of strength. With a family like that on your side, there's no army you need to fear. Number 11. Andrei Kostash Another super-ripped child from the Ukraine is Andrei Kostash. This blonde mini-Hercules is already sporting the physique of a pro bodybuilder. Is there something in the water in the Ukraine that is making all of these extra strong kids? In any case, Andrei has been nicknamed the Ukrainian Beast due to his massive strength and size at such a young age. He definitely has the makings of a bear or a tiger. At the age of just five, Andrei decided he didn't want to be like all the other kids. He had enough of sitting around all day watching cartoons, and hanging out with his buddies playing soccer all day was no good either. Team sports just weren't doing it for him. So he began bodybuilding and pumping iron at the gym. By the age of six, he was able to do 3,000 push-ups in a row. He wasn't stopping there, though, and pretty soon he found his name in the Guinness Book of Records. He managed to perform an incredible 6,000 push-ups in a row, smashing the previous record. And now he has added an acting career to his already successful job as a kid bodybuilder. Number 10. Cosmo Taylor Cosmo Taylor is Britain's youngest competitive bodybuilder, and the 15-year-old strongman claims that it is his sibling rivalry which drives him on to become the best. This is because his 19-year-old sister, Bronwyn, is a champion powerlifter, and when Cosmo sees her doing 12 reps, he promises himself he will do 15 just to beat her. On top of that, Cosmo and Bronwyn's dad, Andrew, is also a powerlifter, and this is clearly a talent that runs in the genes of the Taylor family. They come from the city of Inverness in Scotland, and Cosmo spends his teenage years working out in the gym rather than play an Xbox, and he's never going to allow his sister an advantage over him when it comes to lifting weights. I'm very competitive with Bronwyn, he said. If she's going to do 12 reps on something, I'll do 15. It's a sibling thing. But he also said that their endless competitive behavior can drive their parents kinda crazy at times. Cosmo, as a male, has the advantage in muscle mass and weight, but for the time being, his older sister has the technique and experience to just about keep ahead in this sibling war. Number 9. Naomi Kooten Naomi Kooten is an American female powerlifter who was born in New York in 2001 to an Orthodox Jewish family, which makes her a pretty unusual figure in this sport and not least because she saw success when she was still a child. In fact, she is such an unusual presence in the sport, a documentary called Supergirl was made about her in 2016. Brought up by a Jewish household, Naomi's mother was originally a Christian of German and British origin, but converted on marrying Naomi's father father, but she wanted her daughter to grow up as a powerful woman in a man's world, so she encouraged her daughter to take up powerlifting. And it turned out that Naomi was a natural. She began her career at the age of eight while at Yeshiva at Gnome School in New Jersey, and by age nine she was powerlifting weights up to 88 pounds. Next up, she was breaking world records, squatting an incredible 205 pounds. She mixes her powerlifting life with her religious life, as well as her studies in Hebrew, which include a gap year in Israel. The documentary focused on her achievements in a male-dominated sport, as well as her combating things such as migraines on her way to the top. Number 8. Liam Hoekstra 
Liam Hoekstra is known as the strongest toddler in the world. This youngster was clearly a special kid from an early age, and when his parents noticed that at just four months, he had the strength to hold his own head up and push his upper body off the floor with his arms. Just a month later, he was walking and tackling the stairs at his home, and then by age one, he was doing chin-ups, which has never been recorded before on someone so young. He also had a huge appetite and very little body fat, so doctors checked him out at the age of three and discovered he had 40% more muscle than other children his age. And this was due to a genetic myostatin deficiency, which meant he had altered muscle growth. At age three, he was able to beat kids twice his age in sit-up competitions and was able to hang from a barb by his arms for more than double the time. And in fact, he only let go because he was more bored than tired. Number seven. Mariana Naumova Mariana Naumova is a teenage Russian powerlifter who specializes in bench press and is the world champion in her age group. In fact, she has won multiple world championships and set countless records in her discipline. Because of her success, she was awarded the Master of Sport in Russia international class. One of her greatest achievements was being the first ever female under 18 to be allowed to participate in pro-level powerlifting tournaments. And she wasn't just along for the ride, she smashed the world record at the Arnold Classic in the bench back event. After the tournament, she asked Arnold Schwarzenegger to become president of the United States to help US-Russia relations. The fact Arnold was born in Austria means this is impossible, but does anyone out there want to break the bad news to Arnold or Mariana? Since then, she has joined the Communist Party of Russia, saying, to me, communism first and foremost equals justice. In Russia today, there are ordinary people who are limited to living in small apartments, eating low-quality food bought in chain stores, and working all day long in order to survive. Certainly not the kind of thing that ever happened in the USSR, of course. Anyway, she has also been sent as a Russian ambassador to Syria, and although her career continued to rise, she was later banned from all competitions due to a positive doping test. Number 6. Eret Hosseini at just six years old, Eret Hosseini already has an incredible four million followers on Instagram, and he is mainly known for his amazing soccer skills and incredibly strong physique. He hopes that this early start will allow him to become the next Ronaldo, and his dream is to be the youngest ever player to feature at the World Cup. His father said when Eret was a little boy, he was constantly moving and was always active. He started doing gymnastics even before I brought him to a small club. He was very athletic, he was five at the time, and I encouraged him and sought better opportunities for him. He's always been passionate about sports. Eret was a gymnastic sensation even before he switched to soccer, and now he has already been signed up by Liverpool FC of England, who hope to throw him into Premier League competition at the first opportunity. Could he be the first little kid to play for a pro soccer team? Eret's father thinks so and Eric believes that he will one day go on to become one of the greatest of the sport. Number 5. CJ Center most people know CJ Center as the workout kid, and this 10-year-old is a true phenomenon when it comes to athletic ability. He has already diversified his interests to become a star football player, a health food fanatic, and has even begun releasing his own special workout DVDs. His coach says that CJ's secret is his amazing attitude on the field. How many of these do we have to do? Whenever you get tired. Okay and his commitment to teamwork in spite of being the star player. Is this a new Tom Brady? CJ trains hard but avoids weights for now, waiting until his body is ready to start lifting. He's more about fitness and eating right. His dad is amazed and doesn't understand why CJ doesn't like candy. He also says that his son has the strongest work ethic of anyone in the family. And he's got good morals too, as he gives all of his DVDs away for free to other kids, in the hope of getting them off the couch and converting them to a healthy lifestyle, with fitness as the most important part of it. He is already playing football a whole age group above, and was named the State of Georgia MVP for the under 8 category. Number 4. Jake Schellenschlager 
Jake Schellenschlager is the 14-year-old kid who can lift twice his own weight. He is instantly recognizable by his bright red hair and his ability to lift incredible weights at such a young age. His plan is to go on to set world records in powerlifting, and he's certainly heading in the right direction for now. His trainer Mike Sammy says his physical strength is matched by his mental toughness. He doesn't feel he can be defeated. It is that inner strength that tells him, I can do this. Usually, you only get that in older, more mature people. For a warm-up, Jake will lift 70 kilograms, and usually at the gym, the adult powerlifters will stop and offer the young protege some encouragement. Later on, he'll start hitting the bigger weights, and he's able to lift an incredible 136 kilogram weight, which is more than double his own body weight. It's like competition all over. In the sport of powerlifting, there is a lot of camaraderie and encouragement. And it's really all about strength, while in bodybuilding, things can be a lot about vanity and presentation, which means the atmosphere is not usually as friendly and cool. Jake recently hoped to compete in the 52 kilo weight class, but when he woke in the morning, he found he was weighing in at 53.5 kilos. And this meant a whole morning on the treadmill, trying to sweat out that extra kilo and a half of water in his body so he could slip into the weight class he was hoping for. Number 3. Richard Sandrick Richard Sandrick is yet another weightlifting kid from the Ukraine. Born in 1992, he soon became known as the star of the film, The World's Strongest Boy. He's also known as Little Hercules, and he soon found that the Ukraine just wasn't going to be enough for his massive size, so he made his way to the United States to follow his dreams of becoming the strongest kid in the world. Now he is known as a bodybuilder, martial artist, and actor. His father, Pavel, was a martial arts champion, so Richard was off to a good start and his mother was an aerobics competitor, so this was definitely a fit and healthy family. Once they found their way to California, they hired a publicity agent for their two-year-old son and got him on his way to bodybuilding stardom. Richard started working out alongside his father and was soon able to perform 600 push-ups and sit-ups a day, along with 300 squats. He was banned from eating junk food, and his father would eat up a whole pizza in front of his son, while Richard was only allowed a head of of lettuce to keep him disciplined and focused on his stardom. I've never been forced to train or do anything against my will, he said. My parents used to train all the time and I wanted to join in. It was mostly my choice. It's just what I grew up doing. I was never forced. It was never an issue. Number 2. CJ Cummings if there's something about the nation of Ukraine and strong kids, there also seems to be something about the name CJ, as this is the second one on our list today. CJ Cummings was born back in 2000 and is known as a successful American weightlifter who has set many records in the junior categories. In fact, he was the Pan American champion and four-time junior world champion, having competed in the 96 kilogram category until 2018 and then in the 73 kilogram category category after 2018, following a reorganization of the categories by the International Weightlifting Federation. The change of weight seems to have helped him out as he immediately set four world records in that category in 2018. He has won many gold medals in his sport, including the IWF Junior World Weightlifting Championships, as well as competing all over the world, including in Turkmenistan, Guatemala, and the Dominican Republic, Georgia, Japan, Uzbekistan, and Fiji. This is one seriously strong kid that is now getting started in the adult competitions. So watch this name as surely we have a superstar weightlifter in the making right here. Number 1. Giuliano Stro. Giuliano Stro is a child bodybuilder from Romania. Born back in 2004, he has been setting all kinds of child weightlifting records ever since. In 2009, he was included in the Guinness Book of Records, having set the world record for the fastest time in history for walking on your hands with a weight ball between your legs. Then in the following year, the youngster broke the record for the most ever 90-degree push-ups. A 90-degree push-up is a push-up where you don't allow your feet to touch the floor at any point 
point. He was live on TV and managed to perform 20 of them, smashing the previous record of 12, which was also amazingly set by Giuliano. The following year, he went even further than that, managing an incredible 40 push-ups. He also holds the world record for the human flag at 1 minute 32 seconds, and for muscle-ups at an amazing 41. The 16-year-old is sure to become one of the sensations of the 21st century as he carries on breaking records like this. Do you think you could lift more than these kids? What's your record for muscle-ups? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.